Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for Everyone. We are here to discuss about the complete detailed information about that a coordination complex ion COnH363+. Oxidation number, coordination number, hypoxemy, isomerism, hybridization, magnetic property and color of the complex. All the things we are going to discuss in this video. Oxidation number. Oxidation number states that the oxidation state of the central metal ion. So if you look at the complex here, the cobalt ion is the central atom. The ligand is NH3. It is a neutral ligand which does not carry any charge. So we can find that oxidation number. Let us keep that oxidation number of central atom X plus there are 6 neutral ligands, so 6 into 0 and it carries the charge plus 3. So x is equal to plus 3. So oxidation number of cobalt in CO in H3 6, 3 plus is plus 3. Now let us see that uh, how to find the coordination number. Coordination number states that number of donor atom which is attached to the central atom. So here that uh, the ligand is NH3 so which acts as a donor atom that gives electron for the bond formation with central atom cobalt here. So how many ligands are present? So there are 6 NH3 ligands are present. So coordination number of this compound CO in H3 6 3 plus ion is 6. Let us discuss about that IUPAC naming. So to write that IUPAC nomenclature, we need to discuss about some of the steps. Step 1 identify the type of the complex. Step 2 follow Ligon's rule. Step 3 find oxidation number of central atom. So type of the complex. So here we go to find out whether it is an anionic complex or cationic complex or neutral one. So if you look at this you can see this complex ion carries the plus 3 charge. So, so it is a cationic complex. Now look at the step 2 follow the ligand's rule. So here the ligand is NH3 group. How many ligands are present? There are 6 ligands are present. So we go to use that prefix hexaamine. So NH3 group is called as amine. So hexaamine. Then after that we are writing that central atom. Since it is a cationic complex, we are writing that central atom as how we call them as an element like cobalt. Amine. We are not leaving that uh, any space cobalt oxidation number just now we have got it so that is 3 that we have to write inside that parenthesis since it is an ion we are writing ion so hexamine cobalt 3 ion is the IPAC name for CO NH3 6 3 plus. About the isomerism for coordination complex, there are two kinds of isomers are possible. One is stereo isomers and another one is structural isomers. Stereo isomers have same chemical formula and chemical bonds, but they have different spatial arrangement. Structural isomers have different bonds. So for undergoing that isomerism, there must be some conditions. Coordination number must be 4 or 6. So if you look at this complex ion, you can see that Coordination number is 6 because 6 ligands are present. But there must be a heteroleptic ligand. Heteroleptic means we should have the different number of ligands. 
different kinds of ligands but here we have that only that nh3 so that is homolyptic ligands so that the second condition is not possible so isomerism is uh, for this complex is not possible so we can go for saying that uh, for uh, discussing about that uh, hybridization we should also know about that vbt theory according to valence bond theory the metal atom or ion under the influence of ligands it uses its orbital to undergo hybridization these hybridized orbital overlap with the ligand orbital and form bonding to understand that hybridization we should know that the importance of the strength of the ligand so here we have a beautiful mnemonic to understand or to remember that strength of the ligand very easily i brought a super cool sunscreen from oxford company however nick my educated nephew emptied the cream completely here i stands for iodine broad for bromide ion super for thiocyanate cool for cl minus sunscreen for sulfide ion from for fluoride ion oxford for oh minus company for c2o4 2 minus oxalate ion however for h2o nick for isothiocyanate educated for edta nephew for nh3 emptied for en ethylene diamine cream for cyanide ion completely for carbonyl ligands using this mnemonic let us find that hybridization so here nh3 is the ligand so if you look at this series you can find that nh3 here so it is a strong ligand so under the influence of the strong ligand pairing takes place so in this compound cobalt is in plus 3 oxidation state so there are so let us write the electronic configuration for that cobalt ion argon 3d we can write that box diagram 3d orbital then after that 4s orbital then 4p orbital There are six electrons in 3D orbital. One, two, three, four, five. So the sixth one is going for pairing. So now we have that 4s and 4p empty orbitals. NH3 is the strong ligand. So under the influence of the strong ligand, now pairing takes place. So we can draw again that 3D orbital then 4s orbital after that 4p orbital and we show that pairing now 3 4 5 so now 6 electron so 3 electron pair so remaining how many we have we have 2 3d orbitals and 1 4s orbital and 3 4p orbitals so that result in d2 sp3 hybridized orbitals d2 sp3 hybridized orbitals these hybridized orbitals now gain electrons from NH3 ligands for the bond formation. Let us show once again bonding in this ion. Now let us use that different color for the electron pair that we get it from 
ఎనిమిది వచ్చి త్రీ లిగాన్స్ టూ థర్డ్ పేర్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ సో టోటల్ వీ హ్యావ్ దట్ సిక్స్ హైబ్రిడైజ్డ్ ఆర్బిటల్స్ సో దట్ సిక్స్ హైబ్రిడైజ్డ్ ఆర్బిటల్స్ గెట్ దట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పేర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎన్హెచ్ త్రీ లిగాన్స్ సో దెర్ ఆర్ సిక్స్ ఎన్హెచ్ త్రీ లిగాన్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్వాల్వ్డ్ ఇన్ ద బాండ్ ఫార్మేషన్ so hybridization is d2 sp3 hybridization and that geometry is octahedral geometry same thing we can use it for to find out that uh, type of the orbital whether it is a inner orbital or outer orbital complex if you look at that uh, hybridized orbitals here you can see that uh, inner 3d orbitals are involved in that bond formation so that is uh, inner orbital complex so inner orbital complex so hybridization is d2 sp3 hybridization and the uh, geometry is octahedral and then type of orbital is inner orbital complex so now we got the uh, hybridization for this complex d2 sp3 using that let us find that magnetic property and magnetic moment value so magnetic property whether it is a diamagnetic or paramagnetic here you can see all of them are paired electrons so since they all are paired electrons they are diamagnetic in nature so magnetic properties diamagnetic then about that magnetic moment value so there is a formula to find that magnetic ma- moment value that is nu is equal to root n into n plus 2 here n stands for number of unpaired electrons do we have that any unpaired electrons in this bond formations no right so unpaired electrons are zero so because of that magnetic moment value that is nu is equal is also equal to 0 so magnetic moment value is 0 finally let us discuss about the color of the complex here the central atom cobalt is in plus 3 oxidation state and that its electronic configuration is argon 3d6 so it is a 3d6 system So in free state, the metal ion has d orbitals, degenerate d orbital. That means the energy of this orbital is same. But when it is approached by that NH3 ligon, which is a strong ligon here, so the energy increases. So this is free metal ion. but this is under the influence of ligand under the in the ligand this orbital now splits into t2g orbitals and eg orbital here that ligand is the nh3 ligand so we have that for cobalt ion 3d six system so because of the presence of the strong ligand now pairing takes place at the same time the energy difference between this t2g and eg 
is more so that we called delta not that is crystal field splitting energy so crystal field splitting energy is very high for this compound when delta not increases wavelength of light absorbed decreases so if you look at that color wheel here which one of the following possesses that less wavelength so blue one right so that blue color is absorbed hence the compound co nh363 plus is orange in color thanks for watching